Hi everybody, it's another exciting Max 7 tutorial. This is number 35. This is an intro to Jitter, how to fill a matrix. Let's get a new window up here and uh, make it nice and big so we can look at it. And what are we going to do today? We're going to fill a matrix. And really the only reason is so that we start to understand what a matrix is. A matrix in Max, well, it's the fundamental building block for Jitter. And what it really is, is a place where it allocates memory. When you're dealing with video, you're using tons of memory and you're using it very fast. So a matrix is a way to allocate that memory, tell it what size it is, and tell everything that needs to use it where to go to get it. So let's just uh, start with the new object and uh, I'll zoom in and make it nice and big so that we can look at it and let's type jit for jitter dot matrix and one of the things about matrices is matrices but let's just say jit matrixes is that you need to name them so today we're going to name our jit matrix Frank. Okay, Frank. Frank the matrix. And there's some other arguments that we would like to make about this matrix as well. Um, a matrix generally can have four planes if you read the Max Help documentation. Um, there are four planes laid over each other. In this case, we're only going to use one of those planes. So the first argument we put in is the name Frank. The second is the plane count, and I'm going to just type one. So we're just going to have one kind of black and white plane. And then we have to tell it what kind of numbers to use. And in different scenarios, we want to use uh, different amounts of numbers. Since we only need to have one color, and it's going to be between 0 and 255, we use something called characters. Uh, character numbers, C-H-A-R, which is really just shorthand for saying uh, 2 to the 8th or something like that. Uh, C-H-A-R lets you go 0 to 255. If you need more numbers, you use a different kind of number. We will get to that later. And now, finally, last two arguments, the size of your matrix. And we are going to keep this one nice and small. We're going to make it 12 by 16. Okay, so we have created Frank the matrix with 1 as its plane count. Uh, it's going to use numbers from 0 to 255 and it is going to display them in a grid that is 12 pixels by 16 pixels. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is <clears throat> then to have a place to display that, we're going to make a patcher window. So type n and then type jit again. A lot of jit objects start with jit. Um, and then p window. And there our p window suddenly turns black and there it is and there right in front of us. Um, and we connect them. So now whatever is in this jit matrix, when we um, bang on this uh, inlet, it will output into here um, just exactly uh, what this matrix is holding. So let's start off really simple and, and get a, uh, a, uh, a slider here. Type in, just type slider, and that's great. Here's a slider. We'll resize it so that we can look at it in the and we're just going to start very simply. We're going to type a message that is set all. So that means set all the pixels to in the matrix to something. And we're going to call that string 1. So whatever comes out of this slider becomes string 1. And then it sends the set all message down to that matrix and that should work there. The other thing we need to do here is make our slider 
useful to this and make it go from 0 to 255. So highlight your slider, come over here to um, its range and make it 256. Why not 255? Because it goes from 0 to 255, which weirdly enough is 256 spaces. Okay? It's always so simple. All right, so lock your patcher and let's just see what it does. Grab your slider and up you go. And amazing. It did not make JIT Matrix Frank change its color. Aha! Of course. It is changing the color of JIT Matrix Frank, but what we forgot to do, I apologize, is put our beloved metronome object on there. So unlock your patcher. New metro. God, I just taught this to you last class. You'd think somebody would have yelled this out to me or something. Um, and let's uh, make it go relatively slow so we can watch stuff work. Metro 100 with a toggle. Just type a T for a toggle. That is so nice and easy. And connect that there, and connect that there, and lock your patcher again for those of you like me who forgot how this whole thing works. Okay, so the metro object is going to bang on this thing one, 10 times a second, because 100 over 1,000 is 1 tenth, and there it goes. Look at that. It turned gray. That's a lot of work to make something turn gray. And then you can grab your slider and see how it changes your matrix. All right, well that is fantastic, but of course it's not good enough for us. We're going to unlock our patcher, move this over here out of the way, move this over here out of the way, and what we're going to do very quickly is figure out how to um, fill the matrix one number at a time. So one way to do this, actually we can keep using this counter because it's so useful, is we can put a counter in here. I'm, I'm sorry, the metro object. We can uh, type in a counter and we're going to make it count from 0 to 12. And then let's just put a there, it got all its little inlets and outlets. And then we'll connect our metronome to... Well, we'll don't disconnect it from your matrix because it needs that to output the number. And you connect that to your counter. So the counter is going to count up from 0 to 12, but then it's going to do a really a, much, a cool thing. So, which is this. I will show you momentarily. You actually know this already that you've forgotten it, you slackers. Okay, here we go. So, the 10 times a second, it goes up. This is the carry count, which you might recall from a previous experiment, and it's counting upward. So it's going 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, and then it goes to the next one, right? Very speedy, and then each time it does that. Well, we can employ that so that it goes through each pixel in a, what is it, a row, and then it says go to the next line, go to the next line, go to the next line. In this case, we have it counting up to 12. Hmm, where is that 13 things? I have to think about that for a minute. Um, we have it counting up to 12, and then we want this one to count up to 16 and start over. And to do that, we use the most beloved of all objects, the modulo. So Put in a, an end to get a new object, type the percent sign, and then type 16. Um, so what the modulo object does is keeps dividing whatever number's here by 16 until it can't do it anymore, and then it spits out the remainder. So I'm going to type another I down here so you can see what the remainder is. 
and we'll just do there. So whenever it gets up to a number that's above 16, it goes back to zero because suddenly there's no remainder, and then there's a remainder of one, and then there's a remainder of two, etc., etc., etc. Okay, I'm gonna have to zoom out a tiny bit. Things are getting kind of bunchy here. So we'll keep that back up on top here and move all this down to give us some more space. Okay. Things are going just fine here. Now we've got these two numbers and we just need another slider that will give us the color that we want to use for this. We could, we could just use this one, but we, we don't want to. We, we, we want to be cool and uh, be able to throw that one around whenever you want to. So let's, um, well, let's just copy this and set it over on the other side. We'll have a, two different sliders to play with. But this one already has the right numbers. It goes from 0 to 255. And then the message gets a little complicated here. So what do we want it to send? I'm going to just put a number over here too for our slider. So first we want this to um, set a value and then the X and then the Y. So what I'm going to do is type a message that says set cell and what it wants to know is which cell. Um, the only uh, thing is that I want to put the um, the value at the beginning and so I'm going to type string 2 instead of string 1 because I'm going to save string 1 for last. String 2 then string 3 and then value string whoops that's a, just an S value string 1. Okay, so what's going to happen here is it's going to send this number going very speedily as a string uh, x, then this number is y, and then the value, whatever we give it, will be this uh, number, but this number goes in the front. So um, the object that we use in this kind of situation is called the POC object, P-A-K. So new POC. Come on computer, you're slowing down a little bit. Really slowing down. There it goes. POC. And then um, three. And I think that should, whoops, no, 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 puck, zero, zero, zero. We want integers. There we go. Okay, so just to reiterate, first we're going to stick in this a value that's going to be the color. Then we're going to stick in this value which is going to be the X. And then we're going to stick in this value which is going to be the Y. And if you look down here, as soon as I can figure out, it just started doing it. So you can see that our matrix is filling up there with black. And why is it doing that? Because actually the easier way to do this, since we're trying to look at this, is to just make this box really big. There. Because this is at zero. So now we can move this up and we'll see that it starts filling in with uh, a 127. That's a pretty neutral color, gray. And then you'll see if you kind of move it up and down that you can get all those different colors in there. So you can almost 
be a kind of a manual TV set at this point. I dare you to try to draw something this way. Um, very difficult, but you you kind of get the idea as we go up and down there. So that's what we're doing. We're going through rows and uh, and very quickly uh, the columns as we're counting through the rows and we're giving them a a um, uh, value in a single plane and right now they're all gray and then if we set them all over here to something else like black boom you can see it making the gray uh, pixels again and if we change this it changes them and then if we just wanted to be fancy for the for the heck of it we could connect this to yet another counter um, right here but we're going to change this counter and put instead of we're going to make this counter go up and down so that's a two and then have it go from zero to 255 so it's going to count up and down now and output whatever that number is to this slider this is just to keep you guys on your toes that's all it's not there's no uh you know there's no other motive here okay so there you go now our uh, slider is going to go up and down as this goes up and down through here and you can see that now it's going to make different shades all the way through there it's a kind of a high-powered uh, etch-a-sketch there and I think the reason it's doing this weird thing here is that it should really be counting from 0 to 11 because that's 12 things let's see if that's true oops I, I uh, remember 0 to 11 that's 12 See if everything blows up now. Do 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 do. Might have to edit that out later. Nope. And look, oh, not quite. What could it be? I see what's going on. The lighter one is at the end. So it's counting to a higher number. Maybe it needs to go from 1 to 12. Maybe this time I'll stop it so that the whole computer doesn't freeze and try 1 to 12 and start it. Every bit is crazy. Oh no, I know what it is. Um the num uh, the it's it's carrying differently. No, no, no. We were right about the I know what it is. It's which number is which. The old which number is which problem. And if you can imagine it, I think we could actually fix it here by changing it's receive it's going to the next row before it's finished with this and so it's receiving this number too soon so if we switched these two around if anybody's actually following me along this way logically you're crazy and then we switched values 2 and 3 We'll make that one string two and that one string three. I never in my life thought this would be interesting. Okay, now let's try it. No, it makes it even worse. I'll have to research it. Anyway, you get the general idea. This is how you fill up a grid um, in a simple way so that you can see, um, you know, what a matrix is and... Uh, how to set any cell to any color. Thanks a lot for watching, and I will catch you next time. Patch well.